In this video I'm going to show you how to change hair colour from this into this. Let's dive right in. Okay, the first thing we are going to do, and we're going to go to duplicate this layer here. The next thing, we're going to go into the Essentials tools, straight into colour, and push the saturation up to 100, and the vibrance up to 100. We are then going to go into Advanced Settings, and choose a working colour, just for visuals. Then we're going to go for the Edit Mask, and use the Brush tool, and use the Paint setting. And I'm going to paint this quite liberally here, so it will bleed onto the face. When you're doing it, take your time. But I'll show you how to remove it as well. So I'm going to leave it at that. The bigger the brush, the better the blend. So I'm going to leave the brush up here. This time I'm going to take the opacity down a wee bit. I'm going to increase the brush size and paint here so that I'm not touching the hair. All the way around. Just to remove any colour from it. When you're doing this, it'd be a good idea just to take your time a little more. Next, I'm going to remove it from the ears. So I'm going to zoom in. Command and plus on a Mac, or Control and plus on a PC. I'm going to stay at Erase. And I'm just going to paint that out as best I can. Press X on the keyboard. Turn the opacity right down and paint some colour back in. Just so that we've got a nice blend. X again to erase. And let's jump over to the other side. We're still on erase. And I'm going to increase the opacity for this. So it is one that you'll take your time with, but it allows you to see different hair colours within your image. And you can do this with the eyes as well, it's the same principles. Just paint some back in there, down there, move down here slightly and you'll notice my opacity is still down because I don't want any colours to bleed. X in the keyboard, jump back out and check for any overlay of colour. I'm going to zoom back out now. Command and zero or control and zero. Next thing, turn off edit mask. Go back into the layer. Turn the opacity of the layer down until you're happy with the colour. So I'll just show you the before and after. And what I'll do is I'll go back into the colour and I'll move through the hue shift just to let you see how it works. Once you've settled in the colour, you can go in and pull the saturation back, and pull the vibrance back, then go back into layers, and adjust the opacity of the layer until you're quite happy with the end results. Hopefully that lets you see how quickly and easily it is to change hair colour within an image. The same techniques can be applied to eyes and other objects within your image. Remember, explore the software, enjoy the software and have fun with the software.